One person was killed and 12 were injured as a helicopter used by Afghan Air Force crashed during emergency landing in central Afghanistan on Wednesday, the defense ministry said. The Mi-17 aircraft encountered technical issues as it attempted to recover the bodies of people who had fallen into a river in the central Gore province, Afghanistan's Taliban-run Ministry of National Defense said in a statement. The helicopter hit a wall and crashed. The defense ministry expressed condolences to the families of those killed in the crash. The statement did not identify the individual who was killed in the accident and it was not clear how many people were on board. Images posted on X show the crash site along a river, where dozens of people gathered to try to help the survivors. Space technology can help Ukraine defeat Russia. Elon Musk's friend revealed secrets. Achieving victory in modern warfare will be determined by a nation's supremacy in space. According to American aerospace engineer, writer and founder of The Mars Society, Robert Zubrin, space technologies play a pivotal role in conducting many military operations on the ground. Space technologies are already assisting Ukraine in warfare. Russia has the advantage of numbers, but Ukraine retaliates by extensively utilizing powerful tools of space communication, reconnaissance and GPS-guided munitions. In this sense, it's the first space war. Although space assets have been utilized in warfare since Vietnam, this is the first war where they play a decisive role, Zubrin said. He also added that the space technologies used by Ukraine are provided by the United States. However, a significant issue lies in the uncertainty of future support. The fact that Ukraine can stand up against Russia, which is three times its size, by leveraging its advantage in space demonstrates that in any future war between equal nations, the side with space superiority will prevail. The engineer emphasized, I believe that after victory, Ukraine will become a major power. Great nations achieve great feats. Victory will be the first great feat, followed by others both on Earth and in space, Zubrin said. He added that Ukrainians can already participate in missions with NASA and the European Space Agency. Furthermore, Ukrainian entrepreneurs can establish space companies to compete in the global space business arena. The aerospace engineer also highlighted the case of Serhiy Yakimov, a Ukrainian who leads the American scientific research station Mars Desert in Utah, where people from around the world come to practice Martian missions. Cameron discusses peaceful deal regarding Ukraine with Trump, Sunak, forced to justify. In April, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron met with former US President Donald Trump to try to convince him to approve an increase in military aid to Ukraine. They also discussed a peace agreement on Ukraine, according to Politico and the Sunday Times. According to a source, Cameron asked Trump, what are the best conditions in which you, as a president, can make a deal in January? It's both sides holding their lines and paying a price for that. The UK government has long insisted that a peace deal is Ukraine's business and former Prime Minister Cameron himself has publicly stated that peace comes through strength, not through appeasement and weakness. UK Prime Minister spokesperson says that the UK's position on Russia's war against Ukraine has not changed. I don't recognize those reports. Our position has not changed. Putin must fail. It is crucial, now more than ever in this conflict, that Putin is sent a very clear message that we will support Ukraine for as long as is necessary, he says. Sunak was also informed about the report. I haven't seen this Sunday Times article, so forgive me for that. But what I can tell you is that we have led when it comes to Ukraine, he said. The Prime Minister also adds that investments in Ukraine's security are investments in our security. Our NATO allies are already worried about the prospect of if Putin succeeds, that they'll be next, with all the consequences that would bring, the UK Prime Minister adds. Earlier, it became known that the UK is considering providing Kyiv with prototypes of laser weapons to shoot down drones and missiles. On April the 10th, Ukraine and the UK signed a framework agreement on cooperation in defence equipment. In addition, the UK announced that it would provide Ukraine with new military aid of £60 million. This amount includes drones and air defence equipment.